This is Tailgate Talk, presented by Tarpon Blue. Let's take a ride. In this series, we're going to show you everything Texas and its surrounding southern states has to offer, right here from our very own tailgate. We'll take you from life on the farm and the ranch to the big city lights. This is Tailgate Talk. Come along for the ride. Hi, Terry Tate here with Tarpon Blue. Um, I've got Taylor Dvorak, and she is going to talk to us about Austin Street Market. Um, Taylor, when did y'all open, open this venue? So we opened in the middle of July. Middle of July. Yeah. And uh, we've had six markets so far. This Saturday will be our sixth market. And uh, it's been really interesting having all these vendors. We've had a few that have come back every week, and uh, a lot of those... Um, Vendors are just so unique to what they do. We have a, a fresh cut flowers, some honey, and uh, let's see. I know I bought Braden um, hand soap that smells like Dr. Oh, Pepper. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's wonderful. Awesome. He, it's weird, but it's wonderful. Yeah. So we even have a leather guy. He did a, a leather break bracelet for me. It was really cool. He does a, just a very, I don't know, just. Just unique. Unique. Yeah. You know, like there's just so many, so many things that people do now. Yeah. That it's really cool to showcase that here in Seguin and. Right. Yeah. But we don't have anything like this. So. Right. Kudos right. to you for Thank bringing you. us Thank something you. new. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't have to go to other cities to their markets. You right. Know, yeah. Open air and. Um, I know fresh eggs. Yes. Vegetables. Yep. Vegetables produce. Uh, we also will have a jewelry. Yes, jewelry as well, and uh, hydroponic lettuce. Uh, okay, I didn't really see awesome. that before. Yeah, so we offered that last week for the first time, and so we'll have it again this week. Wonderful. Yeah, it's it's really it's beautiful. We sauteed it at home after oh, you know we had the leftover. It was, it was so, so good. good. It was so good. So, so yeah. I know the opening weekend you had a food truck here. Yes. And in which way? Yes, yes. Which they're local. Yes, they are. Um, is that something that you're doing every, every weekend? We, we would love to have more if we truck vendors here. Uh, any which way has been kind of a consistent one that we've had. Uh, we've had roadies. Uh, who else? Uh, Lazy J Fire Truck came out uh, okay. as well. They do uh, uh, pizza. Oh. But, but they were doing drinks that, that day. But, yeah, anyway, it was it's a great uh, location for vendors to, uh, food truck vendors to come. Yep. And uh, the first first market we had, Any Which Way, did, did really awesome here. And uh, their, their sandwiches are just so delicious. Yeah, I've not had them because <laughs> it was early that morning and we were yeah. headed to a cook-off thing. And so we didn't eat. Right, right. But, um, so talk to us a little bit about the space and... Yeah. Um, are you needing more vendors? Like yeah, how do they get in touch so, with you? So we have space for about 14 vendors in okay. here. So it's a 10 by 10 space. Uh, they can contact me via Facebook. Uh, I have a form on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, that, it's a Google Forms that okay. they can and fill up. And it's just up. Austin Street Austin Market? Austin Street Market, okay. yep, uh, here in Seguin. And, and yeah, that that's pretty much, you know, uh, the, the spaces, like I said, are 10 by 10. We have an air, air conditioned bathroom, which oh, is that's right. really yeah. an awesome Wonderful. thing to have, <laughs> yeah. especially with the, the Texas heat, you know, it gets right. pretty warm out here, but, uh, but yeah, so we have that and it's, you know, we're reasonable on our price, $25 for our vendor fee. And, okay. Um, and yeah, we're just, we, we have, uh, so they can just bring their table. Yes. And they don't have to haul the big can of exactly. set up, you know, canopy. set up the canopy thing. Right, and right. All that because it's all undercover. Exactly. Right. right. And then, yeah. so like I know downtown, which we're like two blocks, three blocks uh -huh. from downtown. Yeah. So when stuff's going on, people can walk down right. here. It's close. Yes. And there's. We're really uh, hoping to open on a third Thursday soon. I'm, I'm not thinking yeah. this one because it's a little too soon, but next uh, September. Yep. We'll well, we had third Thursday, Thursday last Thursday. night. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're hoping that'll yes. kick off in September. Yeah. Well, so that would cooler. be like a, we have lights under here, so it'd be great to have, you know. Yeah, some, for the evening. For the evening, yeah. for sure. You you took this space and made a really great yes, yes, um, 
thing for our city and I, I love it. I think what yeah. you're doing is wonderful and thank you for all the yeah, effort. And, absolutely. You know. we, we hope to continue to grow and offer more things and you know as a farmers market and artisan market and uh, hopefully more people become interested in becoming a vendor here too. I mean we we're close to at capacity but we could definitely use some more and especially cycling out some right. some different Absolutely. you know uh, makers and the things that they do yeah. so. different vendors have other events that yes. they you yes. know so there's yeah probably always there, there's a, space. a good like market community in Seguin. there's you know the yellow rose artesian market the funky monkey has one and there's another one market Seguin, uh, that's coming up too mm -hmm. so there's a lot going on as far as you know local shopping in Seguin and yep. It's great to see it because we need it, you know. Yeah, and for and sure. I know as a kid, I've lived here my entire life. Seguin has been my my home for 30 years, and it's a. Uh, it was always really exciting for me to go out, you know, on Saturdays and see like all the the trade day stuff right. going on. And I always enjoyed that as a kid. So we love that we can also be a family friendly environment to right. bring the kids out, bring the dogs, all of that stuff. It's right. it's very. Friendly to all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. And having it open outside, and yeah, you know, it's easy parking. I guess parking across the streets, except except uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Or down the street, downtown. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we have parking. You know, free parking downtown in Seguin, so great. you can walk, park down there, walk over here, check out all the other businesses. You know, we have. Austin, uh, we got Austin Street Market, obviously, but we yeah. have the Seguin Coffee Company, the Amon, and 1916 Bar and Bistro for yep. food. That's yep. family friendly as well, yep. and just so many great things to do here, yeah. for sure. Yeah, downtown is getting pretty cool. It pretty is. Hip. It is. So. And it's, it's been fun to meet a lot of new people too coming to Seguin. It's right. interesting to see how how things have changed and people are really loving the, the heart of Seguin. You yep. know. Definitely. So. Yep, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, thank you for visiting with yeah. us on um, Tailgate Talk mm -hmm. and um, Austin Street Market, Taylor DeVork, yeah. and we'll see you next time on Tailgate Talk. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in today, and thank you to our guests for sharing their story. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on, on Tailgate, Tailgate Talk. Talk. Make you feel at home at the tailgate.